I've come to Liverpool to meet a pioneer of UFC for women in the UK. She's a Cambridge graduate, a formidable warrior. She's also a mum. Welcome to the world of Rosie the Surgeon Sexton. Fighting is something that I do. It's not who I am. I don't define myself by it. But at the same time, I want to be the best. Rosie, you're a Cambridge graduate, you're a mother. What made you get involved in mixed martial arts? I started out in traditional martial arts when I was a teenager. And then back in 1999, I saw a documentary about mixed martial arts. This was back in the real early days of the sport. As soon as I saw it, I thought, that's something I want to do. I thought we'd uh, warm up with a bit of skipping, we'd do some body weight exercises, hit a few pads, cool. and get a bit of a sweat on again. You're making history. You're the first female UFC fighter in the UK. You're a role model alongside the likes of Nicola Adams, Gemma Gibbons. How do you feel about that position? Do you feel responsibility, pressure, or, or do you relish that opportunity? I think, I think in a sense, there is a certain amount of pressure there. You know, there's, there's, I, I want to, to represent women well. But at the same time, I think that also adds a certain kind of excitement to it. You know, I think I enjoy that element of pressure. Okay, bit of a warm-up done. What's next? Bodyweight exercise. Bodyweight exercise, OK. <laughs> You're 36 years old and you know, this UFC opportunity has just come about. Do you almost wish that you'd had a chance to enter the UFC when you were, say, 26 years of age? Some days, yeah. But at the same time, I think I've also had the opportunity to be involved in women's mixed martial arts almost since day one. I think having had the opportunity to see it through all the way from then right till when you know, the, the UFC first introduced a women's division and to be able to be part of that and to be part of it at this time in history and to be the first women's UFC fight in Europe. And that's a huge thing, I think. That's not something that I'd change. It's amazing how that's just a few seconds that already I'm out of breath. one by a unanimous decision. Was that a fair result? I think it was a pretty close fight. With any fight like that, you go back and you think, oh, if only I'd done this differently or that differently. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. But I think what it did show is that I definitely belong in that division. I had a good fight against one of the top five ranked 135 pounders in the world. And I'm excited to see what I can do this time out. I had Rosie Sexton, I love them. Punching power. Start off looking at a jab. Mm -hmm. What you're going to do is you're just going to keep your elbow nice and tight. You're going to take your front hand out okay. and back. And as you do that, you're just going to turn slightly. Okay, it's going to go forward. So that's it. That's it. So nice and long. Yeah. There we go. You can feel the ones that connect, can't you? Yeah, you can. Okay. The great thing with the pads is you get that feedback, so you know when you hit a good one. Same idea, but this time you're going to turn this hip through. And is this a cross? That's it, that's the cross, that's okay. the one. So eyes on the centre of the target. I'm not trying to picture somebody. <laughs> it, if you get the body mechanics right, the power will come. It's all down to footwork and timing as well. It's about being in the right place at the right time to throw that punch. You know, anyone can look good on the pads, anyone can look good on the back. Um, and put in front of somebody else who's actually trying to punch you in the head as well. It's a whole different game. And how do you switch from being a caring mother to stepping into the octagon and bringing out that killer instinct. It can be a, a tricky balance sometimes because as an athlete you have to be selfish to a degree. It can be difficult sometimes when you get in from a hard day's training and you're exhausted. But yeah, I think, I think that's, you know, that, that's part of the challenge. You know, it's getting that balance right. I, I'm not sure I've got it 100%, but I do my best. So what have we got now, Rosie? So we're going to use those punches that we've just been doing. We're going to put it together give you a little bit of a workout with it. So okay. Make you sweat a bit. Uh, okay, <laughs> demonstrate. Tell me, show me what you're going to do. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do four punches followed by a sprawl and back up. Four punches followed by a sprawl. Same thing, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. To barter workout. Exactly. Okay, exactly. off we go. I'll hold yeah. the pad, you show me. Okay, so a bit of a demo. This looks tough. So it's holding the bag. My turn? Your turn. <laughs> uh. 
You're facing Jessica Andrade in Manchester on October the 26th. Right. First UK UFC fight for women. She is a Brazilian. What do you know about her? She's a lot younger than yourself. So is it experience versus sort of youth, if you I, like? I think I think it is really. You know, I think there, there's that going on. Um, she's you know she's young. She's talented. She's a good all-rounder, um, and she, she'll have her day. You know, she's she's definitely going to have her day. But that day isn't October the 26th. You know, that's my day. <laughs>